welcome back to my channel so we are finally doing the flea market shop with me today thank you for everyone who said that they wanted to see it so we're doing that today i just arrived it is a lot bigger than i anticipated so hopefully it will be a great haul but i'm so excited to bring you along the timestamp is going to be right here for the haul itself but without further ado let's look around So guys, you know how much I love thrift stores, but there's something to be said about going to a flea market. And I honestly can't say enough about this one in particular. It was like the perfect mix of salvagers, and then we also had small businesses there. I mean, there was something for everyone there, which I absolutely loved. But there were so many great items here, so many unique items, like this mug. I didn't get it, but it was a cute little rooster on it. What this was, if it was a jewelry box or maybe a cigar box, but I thought it was cute nonetheless. But there were some extremely unique items at this flea market. For instance, this little carrying box for this microscope, I thought it was the cutest. But this box itself was solid wood, the drawer still worked, so I thought all in all it was a great piece. I didn't ask how much it was and I left it, but I will say that that would have been a great present for someone who was into science. I was also pleasantly surprised about the large amount of furniture that was there. I honestly have no need for furniture, but I thought it was really cool nonetheless. Now that bench was a little bit pricey if you ask me. I think it was like 150. This coffee table was up there too. And then in the back, they also had this dresser. Now it was gorgeous. It was clearly older, so the price on that too was higher. I don't remember, but it was up there. And that one I considered to be, you know, reasonable. And yes, someone was even there selling chickens, so I thought that was interesting. I had to say hi to the chickens though before I continued on with my search. So I stopped at this one table and found this pot, so I picked it up. I also found this pail and thought it was cute, so I picked it up too. But the real showstopper here at his booth was actually the sauces that he makes. The teriyaki was the award winner. I don't see the teriyaki. I, That's, I only have two bottles. I'm surprised I only have two bottles left. That's somebody from Hong Kong that wanted to import that before. Oh, wow. I will take the last one then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And at the next vendor over, I actually got some more items too. I would say by far my biggest score was at this vendor in particular. You guys all have to wait and watch the haul though to see exactly what I got. Hi, how much for these two? I got, I got, what did I got? Five, oh, six bucks for everything. Six bucks? Yeah. Perfect. Also found these candlesticks, was so tempted to buy them, but I ended up not getting them. My true affinity for things clearly shows through with the things that I pick up though, so I picked up a rusty old bell. I can't stress though how many antiques were actually at this place. For instance, this vintage wooden bowl. I would have picked it up had it not been $25, but a lot of the vendors here knew their prices and knew their price as well. So with limited cash on hand when I went here, I would say that I definitely walked away with less things than I wanted. I saw so many beautiful finds. Unfortunately, I couldn't pick them up though because of their price. I also wanted to enjoy the day and I didn't wanna spend most of my money, if not all of it, on one item. But also, isn't that the beauty of a flea market? You can barter if you want to. I will say though, I'm not a great barter at all. Oh, and this vendor in particular made all of this wood furniture and items. I just thought it was gorgeous. It was beautiful. And considering the fact that all of these pieces were handmade, I think the prices on them were actually reasonably priced. So in the very least, when I return and see them again there, I will definitely buy a wooden bowl. I saw a few that I had my eye on, but there are so many other items there that are just so stunning. All right. Not leaving yet, I'm just unloading stuff. I seriously know what I'm doing every Sunday now. So, I got a lot. I'm running out of money, that's pretty bad. I still have one more half of the flea market to actually look at, so let's go back in there. Now, I don't know any story of the vendors there, but I have to imagine that some of these vendors went into barns and found some great pieces to resell. But at the same time, I also saw small businesses like this one trying to sell some of these items, which I thought was really amazing to see. 
It's funny though, I can't get over how much time I could have spent here had I not had other things that I had to do in this day. But I will say that there were so many great finds here and I feel bad making this portion of the shop with me so long, but at the same time, I didn't wanna rob you guys the beauty of all the items there. And so if there is anything that you see that you would have picked up, please let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. I also found so many things that I wish I could have picked up. But I will say the main items that I saw there were kitchen items as well as a lot of brass. Also, I was genuinely curious about this one. It said 600 pitcher. Did they want to sell it for $600? But again, a lot of cute vintage furniture. I thought this circle end table was really cute. And then they had just some other items as well lying around. Something I will say that I did not do this time around is look in the boxes. I noticed that some vendors actually choose not to take out their items out of some boxes. And while the thought of actually rummaging through a box to look for things kind of seems a little daunting, it's well worth it because sometimes you can find true gems in there. It's funny, when I recently saw these bookends, I thought of my mom because she actually has the same exact pair and we actually just recently talked about how much they are actually worth. I'm not sure if I remember correctly, but I think he had $30 on those bookends, so I would say he knew what those bookends actually were and what they were worth. This cute little table, I actually doubled back a couple of times because there were so many brass items that I, I loved and kept on looking at. Unfortunately, I didn't pick anything up because by the time I actually turned back, I had spent all my money already. Lesson learned for next time though, for sure. Now it's funny, when you're there in person, your eye gravitates toward what it wants to gravitate towards, but looking at this now, I see so many items that I passed over or glossed over, didn't even see, and I really wish because of this reason that I went back one, maybe two, even three more times to really look at each table. And there was actually a cute item, this item that I saw that I'm not sure what it was. I thought the shape was really cute though, but I didn't end up picking it up. Same thing for these candlesticks. Now these candlesticks were actually a little bit gold for me. They remind me of the time where 90s gold was like all over the place in, in homes. So I didn't really want that kind of gold in my house. However, this brass cup, I didn't end up getting it, but I thought it was really cute. Now that is the kind of color that I gravitate towards. And because of handmade pottery, you know I had to stop and take a look. Now I'm not sure who made these or how old they are, if they are indeed old, but I was genuinely shocked by the price of this one with the lid. 10 bucks, I thought it was a little bit too high in my opinion. Again, I don't know if it's actually old or made from someone very well known, but I just could not buy it. This was cute though. This jug was actually everywhere. It seemed like every vendor had this type of jug, so I didn't feel too bad when I left it. I will say though, when things don't have a price, I tend to walk away thinking I'll come back and then I end up not coming back, unfortunately. And honestly, that's just because the vendor is probably talking to someone else and I don't wanna interrupt. This picture though, oh, it gives me farmhouse vibes, but I loved the rust at the bottom. Call me crazy, but I just thought it was beautiful. I didn't end up getting it though, and when I returned, it was gone, unfortunately. That's how it goes though. I like that man tent, that's old. It looks really old. It is, it's older than me, it's really <laughs> old. No, seriously, that's early. It's early 20th century. Oh, really? Yeah, we know pottery. Mm -hmm. We know the stuff, and I cannot find who made it. Oh, wow. It's American. It's gorgeous. It is nice. Oh, and I absolutely adored this brass elephant. It was 10 bucks. I ended up walking away saying I'll be back, but unfortunately, um, I spent my money elsewhere. It's funny because that was something that I was actually looking for, like figurines for my shelves. Unfortunately though, for whatever reason, I didn't walk away with any. I was also interested in this particular vendor. There were only a few items there. None of them had prices on them, but I have to imagine with so little inventory, you have to probably have some higher up items. Also, I'm just seeing right now the Halloween buckets that were being sold. 
Oh, and this vintage jewelry box was very cool. I thought it was so funky and different, but this cabinet right here actually sold me. I actually bought this for $30. I forgot to put it in the hall though, for whatever reason. I always seem to forget the furniture pieces, probably because they're in my garage still. Oh, cool, I see the slats on it, that's cool. Yeah, yeah I originally had the, uh, you know, the, uh, the shelves in there, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, a good somebody who's really good at uh, at wood who can make this thing look beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's got a you know, new back on it, but the old one was uh, shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it'll last you forever. Yeah, it's gorgeous too. All right, so I spent almost three hours here. I walked away with literally two dollars, <laughs> but. Man, did I get a lot of stuff. Without further ado, let's jump into this haul. So the first thing that I got was this wall basket that you can put like hanging plants in. I thought it was really cute. The guy only asked a dollar for it, so I was more than fine with paying for that. I really liked how old it looked. I'm not sure if it actually is, but I really liked that it looked vintage to me. So the other thing that I got from the same seller was this teapot and cup set. Now, this says Black Creek Pottery. It looks old, I don't know if it actually is. It probably isn't. So the first thing that I noticed was this rattan style handle. I just fell in love with that. But then I like really looked at this teapot itself and I was just really amazed by the carvings inside of it. And then like this top part too, like it's twisted. I just thought it was really cool. I think he asked $10 for this. So I wasn't gonna barter, I thought that was pretty good. So I'm giggling a little bit because I have a story that goes along with this one. So I picked these up at the next vendor and I tried to barter with him. So they were going for $5 and I asked him would he be willing to take four? And without missing a beat, he goes, nah, I think five is fair. I was like, oh. Okay, I don't know, maybe it was a little salty because I was like, man, I shouldn't have bought it for five bucks. I didn't wanna pay five bucks when I had just started looking in the flea market. And truth be told, that $5, this $5 could have been better spent somewhere else. So they're cute, but next time, I definitely will peruse a little bit before I actually go and spend. Like, unless it's something that I must have, you know? Next up is this little jug. I really loved just the, the picture itself. Like, normally I don't gravitate towards birds or anything like that, or very really, like, detailing on ceramics. But I don't know, I just thought this one was really cute, it had a little ridge here, and then I just love this little handle. I've been, I've been really obsessed with curved handles like this. I don't know why. She marked it for $8, however, it was on her 50% off table, so she gave it to me for $4. So I thought that was a pretty good price for this. This is just really cute, and I've never seen anything like it before, so, so naturally, I wanted it. One more thing from this vendor. So I got this powder jar with a lid. So I just thought it was cute. Just a retro style thing I thought it could be a great thing where I could just put like my cotton pads for like cleaning my face so this was priced at five dollars again it was on her 50% off table so I got it for two bucks because she knocked off 50 cents for me so next up was a very cool gentleman who is actually selling his sauces that he makes and I bought two of those sauces I did try the Cajun sauce by the way it was delicious so I got two sauces from him but I also got some items that he had on his table and it was like a dollar table so I picked up a few things. So first thing I picked up was this, uh, I don't even know what you call it. I'm gonna call it a bucket because I'm not sure what it's called. I mean this is just like a tin, a tin bucket. So there's definitely signs of wear. It is definitely older. You can see some discoloration inside of it. I think it really adds to the piece. I think it gives it a little bit more character. Yeah, so I thought it was cute and I thought it was something uh, unique to have. The next thing I got from that dollar table was this bowl. So it's a very like refined design. I really thought it was cute though with the gold detailing. If you see on the rim, there are hand painted dots as well as flowers. I just thought it was cute. I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. I have so many bowls, decorative bowls, but you know, what's one more? And the last thing I got from this vendor was this little cute copper pot that says potpourri. Is it spelled like that? But like, that's how you say it? Obviously, again, showing some wear. It is rusting out in some places, but at the same time, 
wouldn't be using it for anything other than just a styling piece. I love the little handles on it, like that's adorable. And then this little knob on top for the lid, that's just, that's cute. Dollar for this, no brainer. So next up I got two bells. So the first one I'll show you is this apple brass bell. I need more decorative figurines and stuff like that for styling shelves and I saw this cute little apple and I was like, yeah, I'll get this. Didn't know it was a bell though, so that was interesting. Okay, sorry. I'm trying so hard to like keep them silent as I'm talking, so I apologize. This one was actually sold with this bell. I'm not trying to move it, so. So this one, you might think, oh, well, it's hideous. That, oh, oh ew. <coughs> sorry, that really smells like old fabric. I've never seen this before in a home as a decor piece, but I would say that if it was, it would definitely be a conversation starter. It's like, dang, what's up with the bell? But I will say I just fell in love with how old it is. There's definitely rust on it. You can tell it's aged and it's aged quite a bit. And so I asked him how much these two items would be. He offered me 15 for both. So I took that. So this is actually the last thing I picked up at the flea market. I wanna show you it first though, before I get into these other items that I have. So I picked up this vase. He did tell me it is an old piece. He told me that it was from the beginning of the 20th century. And he told me how you can figure out whether or not pottery is old. If you see three dots, that's how they used to make old pottery. They used to put it on a stand. So if you see, three dots on the bottom of it, it means the piece that you're looking at is an old piece because they stopped doing it. I'm not sure if he said either the 30s or the 40s that they stopped using those prongs. He offered it to me for $10, but very nice couple, very cute vase, 10 bucks. I think that's pretty good, especially the fact I have a little bit more knowledge than I did before, so I think that alone was pretty much worth talking to them. So next up is this whole box. Technically, I got the whole box for 16, but I bought two things for $6 first and then purchased this whole box for $10. So let me talk about the two items that I purchased for $6 first. So first up is this, I don't even know what you would call this kind of basket, but I just thought it was really cute. So this one was $5 and it's just beautiful. So I think it's older. How old though? Couldn't tell you. I also, got this basket which i thought was so cute so it is kind of falling apart though the weaving is so thin that it like snaps off pretty easily so that's unfortunate but i did get it for a dollar so i'm not too upset about it but i thought it was so cute it's all got different style weaving so like the weaving on top of the lid is different than the weaving on the side which is then different from the weaving on the bottom and then look at this adorable little like handle like the top of the lid, like, that is so cool. So gorgeous. Yeah, I think it would just be a really cool shelf piece. And then I got this whole box. So he was like, I also got these other baskets if you want these. I was gonna sell the whole box, I could give it to you for $10. So I started going through the box and I saw this. I mean, look at that, that detailing. That is so cool. And it just kind of reminds me of like older style blankets or like Aztec. I'm not really sure what the pattern is, but I thought it was gorgeous. So this bowl alone, I would have spent 10 bucks on. One of my favorite finds, and it's funny because I wouldn't have even seen it if he didn't mention it to me. So to the vendor who sold me this box, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I'll be honest, after I saw that wood bowl, I didn't look any further. I was just like, okay, I'm buying it for $10 for sure. Um, so I don't know what else is in there. So if there's anything else that I haven't seen, it will be a surprise to me and you. Next up was this one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, hexagon weaving. So I thought that was cool. Not something that you see every day. So that's a really cool thing that I can put on my wall. So next up is this basket. Now I will be completely honest. I definitely wouldn't have picked it up if it wasn't in the box, just saying. There is a setting, there is a place, there is a person out there who would probably love this. Unfortunately, that is not me. This probably soon, it will probably be donated to my local thrift store. There is someone out there who will love this and I hope it finds them. 
Next up is this basket. It's a cute shape. It has a wider weave to it. I don't see bands thick as this, so that's kind of cool. And then it's got like this crisscross pattern on the rim of it too. Also in this box were these flat baskets. So I got four of this color and then one dark color too. So I have a lot of baskets now. But I will say these are like the perfect size. They're the perfect depth for going on your walls. These are really cool. I like them and I'm glad that they were inside the box. Next up is this tray. I want to say it's a tray for a $10 box. This is really cute to have as well. Very cute and it's very large. The detail of the wood. I mean it's gorgeous though. Yeah. Happy was in the box. This is interesting. I did not see this. Maybe it's like one of those things where you put like vegetables and this would be where the dip is, but cute nonetheless. I honestly didn't see that in the box, so there's another one that I didn't see. Uh, there's this. It looks like it was hand sewn. That's cute. It's got like bells on it and it's got bows. I don't know, maybe this is like a short table runner maybe? And then maybe these are like placemats? I, I mean, this is interesting. This is almost like a um, mystery box. I've never opened a mystery box out before, but um, there's a lot of mystery in it. Next up, I got a holy rag. Okay. At the bottom of this box, which I did not see, are these placemats. Now these ones I like a lot. Like these are awesome. Wow. Okay, so I got nine of these. Seriously? How was this box only 10 bucks? <laughs> okay, calm down, Rachel. Talk. So there's two different styles. There's this style, which there's four of these. So that's pretty cool. And then also this braided spiral style. Like if you see the, the ends of it, oh my gosh. I might want to do something really cool as a wall feature with these. I really was not expecting to find some serious gems in this box. I really just wanted that wood bowl, but that was definitely the best $10 I spent at this flea market. That was really worth it. Well, I mean, they can't all be winners. All right, guys, that is it for the flea market shop with me and haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did and you want to see more videos like this, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up. I am already recording a flea market haul and shop with me. So cross my fingers you actually like this. I will make sure though that I thread in the thrift with me's and the hauls as well. Also, if you're not subscribed, if I pass that vibe check for you, definitely make sure you're subscribed and you hit that little notification bell so you're in the know when I post again. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.